<laughs> Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to a, another Isn't little episode market? of No Man, because it loads all shit on Instagram. You gotta landscape it, it loads all shit. Okay. I can bring it closer, I can reach a nice little short angle, guys. It's looking like very much. Whatever. You're good, man. You're good. Should we start again? Uh, no. no, fine. Right, right. Um, okay, welcome to uh, another little uh, pancakes and coffee with Matt and Dan. Do you know what, honestly? No next, pancakes, no coffee. Next week. Next week. Well, no, why is it always my responsibility? You oh, look, wait, really wait, wait. First of all, first of all, you, you, were, you really were the guy that got the pancakes, pancakes right? You, oh, don't worry, me. I'll come up with these. Bear me. I'm going to be so much food. It's like we're going to have pancakes. It's going oh, to yeah. be. Honestly, it's going to be exceptional. It's going to be Coffee. so good. Yeah, what is this? What is this? What's this? That's a, that's a cup. What is it? It's as posh as it gets. It's just, it's just a cup. Just a cup. It's a little travel it's cup. It's the shit he buys. Yeah. <laughs> right. What are we talking about today? Well, we were going to do... We're, there were two things that I wanted to touch on, right? I wanted to talk about um, can kids CrossFit, can people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, is there an age bracket for CrossFit? I wanted to have that discussion, right, with you. I don't know what you wanted to discuss. Well, I wanted to talk about The Game Changers, which is a new TV show on Netflix, which is no fun another idea what that beautiful, is. heavily propagandized video about veganism. But let's go with yours first, because I, I quite like the idea of talking about some uh, kids. Fucking vegan. Fucking vegans. You need to fucking up <laughs> vegan shit. Right, love you, Nick. Right, okay, so um, is there an age bracket in which you can crossfit? And in my opinion, this is my, my personal opinion, there should be no limitations to be able to crossfit, whether that's by age, whether that's by mobility, whether that's by um, disease, illness, there shouldn't be a reason why you can't crossfit. Everything points towards that you should be able to crossfit. So what Got do you... the point, isn't it? Well, it, and, but I get why people are unsure about what age you should start crossfitting, right? So we do CrossFit Kids here, all my kids CrossFit, um, even Jude, who's, uh, those of you that know me, Jude's like 19 months, I have him hanging from the rings, um, you know, Gemma, we, we've got a little toy kettlebell for him, he's doing his form of CrossFit, both my girls CrossFit, they're next door, um, they're, they've been CrossFitting since they were five But what do you six. call CrossFit? Well, what 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 constantly is, very functional. Con, con, constantly very functional movements. Everything is just all you're changing is volume and weight. So am I getting my kids to back squat their body weight? No, you know because the, the, it, there's nothing practical about it. Their bodies are still developing. And here's the thing: that's why people don't send their kids to CrossFit is because they're under the impression that they're going to be um, they're going to be you know back squatting their their body weight and shit, right? We, that's not if you're at a good box, um, and I don't think there's any box that does that. One, no it's one. Like, it's just gymnastics with some other bits. In mate, it. it's gymnastics with some other bits in it, but it's, di- it's the discipline that comes with it, and it's the understanding. It's the understanding of body movements. Look at fucking kids at the moment. They, they eat shit, seriously eat shit. Don't get me wrong, it's got better, but they eat a lot of shit. They probably carry more weight than they need to. Kids don't fucking go and climb trees anymore. You, they don't, right? They don't. You, it, it, mate, yeah, everything's fucking health and safety. I want my kids coming back with scuffs on their knees and sh- I love all that. I really think it's really important. I, I, I take them up the parks, so I stick them up the top of the tree. I think it's really important. My kids have just done the open. We hold the open here for the, the children that come here. I think it's so important for them to come in. Also, like, take for example, like Hallie. Hallie, like, Bell's, uh, Bell's uh, like my, my middle one, but Hallie, she used to have uh, her feet were pronate, she'd have varicose knees. I swear to God, CrossFit has sorted her out no end. But it gives a focus, it gives an addiction, like it does, like anything, like gymnastics, dance, da da da, they love it. But CrossFit, they get to do stuff that you you get them up on the bar, getting toes to bar, I think is so, so important. I really do. What's your view on it? That people will find an excuse because they don't want to do it for their kid. Yeah, and yeah. I think. Because if you're a CrossFitter, or if you're somebody who does functional movements and enjoys constantly varying it, then you're in here anyway. And then to get your kids to do that, they generally do that at school, or they'll generally do that like, yeah, I mean, I'm from Devon, and we used to play in, <laughs> in the hay bales. Um, all the time. <laughs> but we used to have a hoot. And like you say, like, you know, I, I have freaking, I've got scars all over me from when I was a kid, from like when you just jumping around, we used to play on quad bikes and all the rest of it. And I just don't think that's there anymore, is it? No. But here's the other thing as well, is um, it's a discipline. 
So a lot of people send their kids to boxing, martial arts, da, 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 because it holds, I, I've got a martial arts background, it holds a really, really strong discipline to it. CrossFit has exactly the same thing. So highly recommend fucking CrossFit yeah. for kids, man. So sure. find out where your local CrossFit box is. And if you're too old, Mate, you're let's lying. think about old, mate. Ah, you're never too old. It's bullshit. You're never too old. It's my mum does CrossFit down, uh, down in Devon, and she Don't trains you? with one of my, yeah, she trains with one of my really good mates, Jack who is an incredible movement specialist. She went from, same thing, pronated ankles, pronated knees. Jack, you're losing that. Another episode. <laughs> 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 no, he's not. Um, but, uh, but, but, but it does. <laughs> the best, you wanted to punch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, best, best comment, the best comment I ever got from her was when she said that she actually felt like she was sitting in her car. Yeah, yeah. Like when she went to sit in her car, she was like, I actually feel like I'm sitting in my car now instead of just falling in my car. And I was like, wow, I mean, that's... Right, so, and here's the thing, right? So, so people get to a certain age and they're like, right, okay, I've had a fucking heart attack or I've had a stroke or like literally I can't see my own feet anymore. Mm. So what they do is they go into what's the least amount that I can possibly do to say that I'm doing a form of fitness. Yeah. So they will go and do some oh. like fucking power walking. So I found this morning you were talking about, um, she was in David Lloyd, and um, the, she was on the running machine. Actually, she was in da- um, um, Arden. And she was like, I was in David Lloyd, and on the running machine, or the walking machine, um, they were playing solitaire. Really? <laughs> so they were in, in, in the... This in is the shit I'm talking about. What's the Play. bare minimum I can do? Well, here's the thing. is The bare minimum you can do, fine, you're doing something, right? So it holds its, it holds its due. But here's the thing. Then what you want to do is go a little bit further from that because how fucking great can power walk can be? I mean, you can go and see some lovely sights. Great, you're out and about and, you know, you're giving it some of this. But then what's the next step? CrossFit, if you've got a good CrossFit box, we 100%. One of my best mates, Bob Walker, he had the he had a hip replacement, surgery on his knees, he put on weight. I got him in a CrossFit, he was shitting himself coming in. He just thought I'm gonna beast him and da 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 and there's something that I'm trying to prove through him. Uh, and this guy is my old martial arts teacher. So uh, did you remember me saying he, he was like he, he was one of those top martial arts guys you've ever met in your life. He was unbelievable. And got him in, it just blew him away because it was all about understanding his body movement, understanding what he's doing. Okay, his intent is different. So what's different? He doesn't want to get stuck on the fucking toilet. He wants to be able to pick his car keys up. It's a squat and a deadlift. You know, he, he, he wants to be able to get out of his car. Like what your mum's saying. I want to, so it, that is just translated into how we train you in CrossFit, right? So 100%, there is no age bracket. Yeah, if you really want to test it, you're going to go for a free trial. You'll know in one fucking class whether you want to do it or not. And if you've got a good coach, you should feel comfortable. And if you've got a good box, there should be no members looking at you. Don't feel silly. I've got some of my men, the majority of our members are 30s, 40s, 50s. My favourite members in our fucking 60s. Uh, Pauline Swan, I talk about her a lot. Mate, I'll get in, we get Pauline Swan on I mean, it. She banged in here at 59, never been in the gym in her life. Mate, that's one powerful woman, overcome serious illness cancer. overcome cancer yeah serious illness completely completely evolved her life but she put her trust in the coaches she now has taken a great journey for it she does an amazing like her back squat's insane her movement standards are insane Matt sorted out her nutrition it's fucking beautiful it's great so no age brackets make sure that the people go and look at who you're doing the CrossFit with go and look at who owns your box and make sure that they're qualified make sure that they know their stuff go and hang around the class and see what it's like and go and see what the community is like you make some amazing friends get yourself out there my nanny bet has done Fran I've told you that haven't I? she's 85 so anyone can, anyone can CrossFit right tell me about this show no we'll, we'll talk about it next time Are you stay joking? tuned yeah, next yeah, nine man. minutes in yeah no we've got 15 ooh yeah 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 just, nice. just throwing that shit right out there Yes. Um, Game Changers. Okay, cool. What's it called? Game Changers is a TV show on Netflix that's playing at the moment in regards to veganism and vegetarianism. Okay, just want everybody to understand that this is propaganda and it is probably, well, no, it is. It's all about trying to get people away from meat um, and, and everything else. But remember we are human beings we are omnivores we are able to 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 break up meat eat meat digest meat and all the rest of it so it is possible and you're not going to suddenly become a vegan and then suddenly get a gold medal think about the fact that gold medals are, are won every 
four years by people or every year in different uh, abilities who eat meat as well as people who don't eat meat. Yes, I think vegetarianism is a great thing and giving your oh, digestive system a rest. Hard, see, mate. But, <laughs> but, but it's just it's just hearing everybody say how it's just literally changed their life and they're going into being a vegetarian now. It's like, good, but remember, variation is also a good People think that necessity. by becoming a vegetarian, they're going to lose weight as well. Can we fucking blast that myth? That yeah. vegetarianism doesn't make you lose weight. No. You're eating pure carbohydrate. Mm, yeah, no, yes and no. So, like, it... It will help your digestive system massively. It will. There's loads of other good uh, biomarkers as far as health is concerned. But all I'm going to say is just, just remember to keep taking with a pinch of salt. But also, <laughs> hey! that's crazy. Fucking got time for that! Wow! <laughs> but a gladiator comment really pissed me off because these gladiators are flipping slaves. They're saying that these gladiators were fed on a ve- vegetarian diet to. And they suddenly became these, these, these unbelievable gladiators and they were fighting against the world and they were trained so well. No, they were fighting for their lives, they were yeah. slaves, and they were eating shit off the floor. But do you like, know how many of them fuckers died? Let's yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just work out numbers, yeah? There was probably a couple of freaks that lived off the parsnip and could iron out a couple of blokes. <laughs> the majority fucking died, yeah? There is a vast majority who couldn't even pick up a sword and they're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care if you're eating meat or eating vegetable. If you've got a fucking lion chasing you, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Is that what he said? Yeah? Yeah, I don't know what's he called? Game yeah. changers. Game changers. You want to have a laugh? Watch that shit. No, like, it, it, it's got some really good scientific points in it, but it also doesn't give you a full, um, a full outlet on the whole of the world, I think. So just take it with a pinch of salt. Eat meat, man. Yeah, fucking eat me. Variation is the Don't, key. Uh, Intimate tell fasting. Them about, is fuck the key. off! <laughs> oh, what a cock! Listen, <laughs> TED talks. No, what, look, put no, it. Intimate fasting. Mate, TED talks. I've actually Listen. seen it. No, TED you haven't. Listen. It was no, TED talks only, that made me fast. It's only, it's only just come out. It's no, it hasn't. Episode. I've got it on here. It's I watched <laughs> TED talks. That's what got me into fasting. You went, hey, mate, I've been telling you about fasting for ages. Why didn't you go off my years? I've been fasting for years. I've been seeing it for ages. Listen, it's the most fucking miserable thing you're ever doing in your life. Not eating for 16 hours is nothing. I don't like it. I hate it. I think it's shit. Don't do it. He's going to tell you different. My view on it. Don't fucking into I'm not going to tell you different. No, I'm going to tell you to look out for the... Uh, over the next five years, you're yeah. going to get so many biomarkers to say, that. oh, actually, I should do this. From the doctor, from surgeons, from actual phys- physicians that mm. actually give a shit and... Mm. I give a shit. I give a shit. You lasted a I, day. I lasted a fucking day. You lasted a day. You didn't even last a day. You lasted until two o'clock. It's now two o'clock. I've been eating all day. In fairness, I fasted for one day, and then the next day I met my mate for lunch, and we got pissed. <laughs> it was on red wine, though. Did you know? Yeah. Did you red know? Wine, red wine's whiskey, fasted. Did you know whiskey's kosher? I'm not Jewish, yeah. but whiskey's kosher. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's 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 keto as well. It's fucking outstanding. I've got time for that. All right, guys. Listen. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got anything that you want us to talk about, any questions that you've got, you know, and we say a lot in jest, I hope I haven't offended anyone if you're a vegetarian. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Can you please, can you please put some comments about Game Changers underneath? Game Changers. And, and tell me about your vegetarian. Tell me how your veganism has changed your life. I really want to read about it. All right, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Tell-